Hello and welcome to the Learn Something channel where the goal is to learn something new every day. In this video I'll be solving a medium level puzzle from the New York Times. The puzzle uses most of the strategies I've demonstrated in previous lessons and as I solve it I'll be thinking aloud and hopefully you'll be thinking aloud along with me. All right let's get started. So let's have a look at this puzzle. This is from the New York Times. This is a medium puzzle. So let's start with the number one and we're looking for numbers across these big blocks, these groups of three rows. We're looking across and we have um, only one one. We have one two. We have no threes, no one four. Ah, we have two fives. Okay, so this block needs a five. So we have a five here and we have a five here. So that means that this block has to be a five, okay? And next we have, we have two nines. Okay, one, two. So this row can't be a nine and this row can't be a nine. At the very beginning of solving a Sudoku puzzle, you should stick to Snyder notation. So since the nine can go into any of these three cells, I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. All right. Later on in the puzzle, if the puzzle is more difficult and Snyder notation fails us, then we can go ahead and fill in more values. But right now, they're called candidates. But right now, let's leave that alone. Okay, so all we've gotten out of this top rank is the number five. Now, let's move down to the second rank here. Uh, the middle rank is, there's one, one, there's a two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the six repeats itself twice. So we need a six here. And again, it's in, it can be in any of these three cells. So we're gonna leave that alone. All right, seven, eight. Eight, we have an eight here and an eight here. So now the eight can either be, the eight can either go here or here, right? Okay, so because there's an eight here, you can't have an eight in this row and this eight takes care of this row so it has to be the here or here so once the eight only goes into two locations as a candidate then i mark it down that's called snyder notation that's what i like to stick to in the beginning of solving a sudoku puzzle all right that's it for the middle rank so now let's go to the bottom rank so we have one 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 two one three one four two fives okay so we have a five here and a five here that means there has to be a five in this bottom row. And because of the five in this column, we can only have a five here and here so that we have the Snyder notation. All right, what about sixes, sevens? We have one seven, eight. All right, and there's one nine. Okay, now the nine, because we have what's called a completed segment here, this nine can't be in the bottom row because of this nine. It can't be here because there's a completed segment. So the nine actually can only go here or here. So we can fill that in. Okay. And now um, in this block, we can't have nines here and here because of these two nines. We can't have nines here and here because of this nine. So the only place a nine can go is in these three cells. But because of this nine, it can't go here. So now we can pencil in these candidates here as the nines, okay? All right, now let's look at the vertical stacks. Let's take a look at the left stack. Uh, one, two, we have one, two here. Um, three, we have a three here. Uh, four, okay, four again. Oh, here we have a four here, but because of this four, we can't have a four here. We can't have a four here and here because of this four. So the only place a four can go is here or here. Okay, so we have a four here and here, which means there can't be a four in this column. There's a four here, so there can't be a four in this column. So there has to be a four in one of these three cells. And because of this four here, the four can only go here or here. Okay, do you see that? All right, let's move on to the number five. We have two fives. We have a five here and a five here. So that means that the only place a five can go in this block is here. Let me change that to 
can, uh, normal and we have a 5 here. Okay, the number 6. We have 1 6. Okay, and that doesn't help us at 1 7. And that doesn't do anything for us right now. Actually, yes, it eliminates this. And this is eliminated from this. Remember the, the lesson on intersecting lines? When you have an intersection with this 7 and this 7, right, then it, the 7 can't go in any of these cells. And because of this 7, the 7 can't go in any of these cells. So we can only have a 7 here and here. Okay? Let's see the number 8. Can we do anything with the number 8? Uh, yes, we can. See, uh, again, using intersecting, even though there's only one 8, using intersecting lines, we have an 8 here, so that eliminates this cell. We have an 8 here, so that eliminates these two cells. So the only place an 8 can go in block 1 is here and here. Let's go to the center stack, and we can look at the number 1. Nothing. 2, 3... Four. The number 5, we have a 5 here and a 5 here. So we can either have a 5 here or here, right? This column is eliminated and this column already has a 5. So the 5 can only go here or here. Okay, what about the number 6? There are no 6s here. 7, where's there a 7? No 7s. 8, we have an 8 here and an 8 here. So that means this cell has to be an 8, right? So let's put that in. Okay, so we have 8, 8, 8. Let's see about 9. We have a 9 here and a 9 here. So there must be a 9 in one of these three cells. Okay. All right, let's move on to the right stack. So, let's go over here. We have a 1 and a 1. And so a 1 can be in any of these three cells, but, but because of this one, then the 1 can only go here or here, right? And now we have 2 and 2, so now we can have 2s. Because of this 2, the 2 can only be here or here. And now we have what is called a matching pair. We have a 1-2 matching pair here. All right, and so that means that the 1 and 2 cannot be in any of these cells, which of course it can't be because there's a 1, 2 here and a 1, 2 here. Okay, uh, but it also can't be in any of these cells, right? It can't have a 1 or a 2 in any of these cells uh, because there's a matching pair here. All right, let's move on to the number 3. Um, nope, 4. That doesn't help us. A five, six. The number six, the number six, the number seven. So we have seven and seven. Okay, so now we can place the seven. Do you see that? Do you see how we can place a seven? This seven means that these three cells can't be a seven. This seven means that the re these three cells can't be a seven, right? And these two cells can't be a 7 because they're a 1 and a 2. That's the only place a 1 and 2 can go. So then the only place a 7 can go is over there. Okay? It can't go here because of this, this 7. And it can't go here because of this 7. And it can't go here because the 1 and 2 has to be there. So we can place the number 7 there. Now once I place the number 7 there, that I can now go back and pencil in candidate 7 here and here. Okay, we have the number 8 and the number 9. So let's see, the number 9, we need a 9 in this block. And now the number 9 can only go here or here. So I'm going to put in that can those candidates here and here. Nine. So now there's a couple of things we can do. We finished scanning. So now we could actually rescan because sometimes we miss things or because we filled in the 7, the 5, and the 8, maybe we can go back and check to see if there are any ramifications from that. Um, and actually, let's, let's actually do that. Let's see, the 7 here now eliminates these two cells. The 7 eliminates this one. And so we still have three cells here. Uh, is there anything else that 7 did for us? No. 
What about the fives? This five, oh, so look at that. This five eliminates this five. So now because we were using Snyder notation, I know then that this has to be the five. So this has to now be the five, and this we can eliminate this as a candidate. Okay, and then does that help us with this block? Well, now this can no longer be a five. These are not fives. This cannot be a five. So the only place a five can go is right there. Okay, and then does that help us with the with with block nine? Let's see now. So that we can't have five here, and we can't have five here. So now this has to be the five. And this 5 can be eliminated. So you can see how that Snyder notation helps us. So we have all the 5's done. Okay, um, so it's good to go back over the numbers we've placed. We placed a 7, we placed a 5, and now let's take a look at the 8 we placed. We placed an 8 here. So let's see if that helps us. Um, that eliminates these cells. This 8 eliminates these cells. So we still have 3 cells here. What about over here? Oh yes, this 8 eliminates these as possible 8's, so the only place an 8 can go now is here or here. So now we can go back here. We have 8 here, 8 here. So that means these can no longer be an 8. This cannot be an 8. This cannot be an 8. So the only place I can have an 8 is here or here. And now I have what is called a matching pair. I have an 8-9 matching pair. And that may be helpful for us. Um, it means that none of the other cells in this block can be an 8 or a 9. And it means none of the other cells in this row can be an 8 or a 9. Okay, so that is very helpful. Oh, I just realized something that I missed. Um, you see this? I have a 9 and a 9 here. But we already said that the 1 and 2 is a matching pair, right? 1 and the 2 has to be in those two cells, 1 and 2. So it can't take any other number. So therefore, this number has to be a 9. Let's go back over the numbers um, 1 through 9 and just see if we missed anything. Okay, so the 1s, I don't see anything else I can do with them. Let's rescan the 2s. So we have um, 2 can go in one of these four cells, and there's no way to narrow that down. Let's see here. Ah, I can place a 2 either here or here. That's using intersecting lines, you see? The 2 here and this 2 here means these are the only two places a 2 can go. So now, because those are the only two places a 2 can go here or here, they're locked into that position. And we'll talk about locked candidates in a... Uh, future video, but just think logically. We have 2, 2 here. That means 2 and 2 cannot be here. And 2 cannot be here because of this 2. And a 2 cannot be here because of this 2. So the only place in block 7 a 2 can go is here or here. Okay? So the 2's have to be here, right? So now let's go on to the number 3. We have a 3 here. And so now the only place a 3 can go in this block is here and here, right? And now we need a 3 in block 1. So again, we have those candidates locked into these two cells. So you can't have 3's here. And because of this 3, you can't have 3's here. So then this cell has to be a 3. Okay, so does that help us with anything um, across? Let's see. So now that means that this can be a 3 and this is a 3. And that means we have a matching pair. Now when you have a matching pair, 3737, three, not only does it mean there can no longer be any 37s in that row, but also in that block. And so since there are only two cells left in that block, we're missing the numbers 2 and 6, right? We're missing the numbers 2 and 6. So we can put a 2, 6, 2, 6 matching pair. And now look what that does. We know that these two cells have to be either a 2 or a 6. That means this cannot be a 2. So that means that this is the 1 and this is the 2. Okay? Let's take a look at the 4s. 
we have fours this way and fours this way, so we have three cells where the four can go. Um, what about the number six? Fives are all done. All the fives are placed already. So let's take a look at the number six. Um, okay, so look at that. We can place now the candidates six here and six here. So therefore, the six can only be in the in this top row here and here, right? It can't be here because of these two sixes, and it can't be here because of these two sixes. So the six in block one has to be either here or here. Now, I just noticed something. This is what we call a naked single, which is it is the only number that would fit into this cell. This 8 is the only number that can fit into this cell. The cell cannot contain a 1 because of this 1. It cannot contain a 2 because of this 2. It can't contain a 3, a 4, a 5. It can't contain a 6 because we said the 6 are locked locked in here, so that can't be a 6. It can't be a 7, and it can't be a 9. So this number has to be an 8. All right, now how does that help us? Well, let's see. This now is not an 8. Okay, so can this cell take any other number but a 4? So this cell can't be a 1, 2. It can't be a 3. It 5. It can't be a 6 because the 6 has to go here. It can't be a 7, 8, or 9. So this cell has to be a 4. Alright, which means this cell cannot be a 4. Okay, so now we have the 4 here in this row, and we have 4 here, so the only place a 4 can go here is here. Um, so let's see how that helps us down this way. Uh, can we place a 4 here now? No, but what we can do is we can put candidates. So we can put a candidate here for the number 4, and we can put a candidate here for the number 4. Okay, and what about in this block? Okay, so this 4 means these 3 cells can't be a 4, and this 4 means these cells can't be a 4. So we can only have a 4 here and a 4 here. Now that helps us because now that eliminates this as a 4. And this eliminates this as a 4. And this eliminates this as a 4. The only place a 4 can go in this column is there. Alright, let's look at block 1. Um, there's only one number missing from block 1 and that's the 1. So let's put that 1 there and that 1 there. Okay, so now let's take a look at any row, column, or block that has three or four cells missing. And let's see, here we have um, here we have three cells missing. So we need a one in one of these cells, right? This this column needs a one. It can't be here, so it can be here. So this column needs a one. This column needs a two, and this column needs a four. So this cell here cannot have a 1 or a 4, so therefore this cell has to be the 2. Okay. Once we get that 2, does that help us with anything else? So now the only place a 2 can go is here or here. Okay, and so now we can get rid of this, and we have a 1, 4 matching pair. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that, but we have an 8, 9 matching pair. So then the 6 can only go here or here. Okay, now let's see if there are any other uh, rows or columns that have three or four cells that we can solve. So here we have four cells, one, two, three, four, in block nine. Okay, so what's missing? We're missing a three, right? A three cannot go down here, so the three can only go here or here. Okay, so now we have a three nine matching pair. And so this has to be one, six, eight matching pair. Okay, so now that helps us to solve this six, seven matching pair. Do you see that? If this is a six, this is an eight. If this is a six, this is an eight. But either way, the six has to be down here, which means this cannot be a six. So this has to be the seven. And therefore, this is the six. That is great. So we know that this 
has to be the other two numbers. You see in this row, we have one, two, three. We need a three, so there's a three here and a three here. Um, it can't be here because this is either an eight or a nine, right? Four, five, six. This can either be the six or this is the six. Okay? So now we have a three, six matching pair here. So that means these four cells can't be a three or a six. So what can they be? Well, um, this can be a one. Actually, a one can be here or here or here or here. I don't like to do that, but we're far enough along that we should be looking at all the other possible numbers. What else are we missing? Three, four, five, six. We're missing the seven, right? So the seven can't go here and it can't go here. So the seven can only go here and here. Now let's see these threes here. We have three and three here and there's a three here and a three here. That's interesting. So that makes me look at this cell over here. Now what number can go in this cell? Well, it can't be a one because of this one. It can't be a two. It can only be a three, right? It can't be an eight because of this, right? So in this column, we're only missing a three and an eight in this column. And since this is the eight, then this has to be the three. And so this has to be the eight. Now, once that eight is fixed over there, we can get rid of these candidates, right? And once I put this 3 here, what does that do for me? It gets rid of this 3, which means that that has to be the 3. All right, that has to be the 3. Okay, this number cannot, cannot be a 1, 2, 3. It can be a 4. It can't be a 5, 6. It can't be a 7. It can't be an 8. Can it be a 9? Yes, this can be a 9, right? Wait a second. I don't know why I put a 4 here, so that cannot be a 4, actually. That can only be a 9. That is the only number that can go in that cell, so that has to be a 9. Now what that does is here, it resolves this 3-9 pair, right? I wish I had seen that earlier. So this now becomes a 3, and this becomes a 9, okay? And so now that resolves this 3-6 pair here, because now this has to be the 6, and this becomes the 3. Okay, and now if that's the 6, that resolves this here, this becomes the 8, and this becomes the 6, yeah? And now if that's an 8, then this has to be a 4, okay? And so now what are we left here with? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. We're missing the seven, right? We're missing a seven. That can be a seven, and we're missing the eight. We're missing the seven and the eight. Well, that can't be an eight, so that has to be the seven, and that has to be the eight. Okay, so now let's take a look here and see what else we can do. Um, now there's a lot of things that should be opening up to us. So this is a seven. So we have 7, 7, 7, so now this can be a 7, and this can be a 7. So now we have a 2, 7 uh, matching pair here, so that means this is a 1 and a 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the 9 is missing, so that's a 1, 9 matching pair. So here I see the number 6, I, don't, I can now resolve this matching pair, 1, 6. So because of this 6, this, this has to be a 1. And then therefore this is the 6, right? And so if that's a 1, then this becomes a 9, and this is the 1. There you go. Okay, and if that's a 9, then this becomes the 8, and this is the 9. You see that Snyder notation is very helpful in going back and filling in the numbers. Okay, and let's see, does that affect anything else? So now let's see what these two cells could be, all right? This is either a 2 or a 7, so what could this be? Well, can't be a 1. Could it be a 2? Could we have a 2 over there? Yeah, we could have a 2 there, and we could have a 2 there, 
right? So any of these three could be a two. Um, a three is missing. And so actually this has to be, a th the three has to be here or here. Because of this three and this three, the three has to be here or here, three. Four. Um, so the four cannot be there. Five, six, seven. Can sevens go here? Yeah, a seven can go here and a seven can go here. Eight and nine. Okay, um, so now let's take a look at this row here. We have um, just two cells in this row. One, two, three, four. The four is can only go there, right? It can't go there because of that. So that has to be the four. And then therefore this has to be the six. Okay, so now we have this done. So that means that cannot be the four. Okay. Um, that eliminates the four from there. And this six eliminates this six here. So now that I think has to be the three. So we can fill that in as a three, which means this is a six which means if this is the th 6, then this has to be the 2, and this has to be the 6. Now if this is the 2, this can no longer be a 2, so let's get rid of that 2, right? And we still need a 2 in this row, so now the only place a 2 can go is here, because there's a 2 in this block. So then this has to be a 2, okay? Okay, so what is missing from this cell? Um, it can be, let's put in all the possible candidates for this cell. It can be a 1, right? It can be a 1. It can't be a 2, can't be a 3, can't be a 4, 5, 6. Can it be a 7? Yes, it can be a 7. It can't be an 8. Can it be a 9? No, it can't be a 9. So that's a 1, 7. So, if you look at this column, the only place a 3 could go, it looks like, is over here. This column needs a 3, right? And this has to be a 7. And if that's a 3 and that's a 7, so that gets rid of this. So now this cannot be a 7. When we place this 2 and 3, that eliminates this 2 and 3, right? So now I believe this cell can only hold a 7, right? This cell cannot be any other number but a 7, right? And once we do that, then this cell has to be the 2, and then this cell has to be the 3. And if this is the 2, then this has to be the 7, right? Oh, this can no longer be a 7, though. This can no longer be a 7. So is this the only, only thing can be a 1? Let's see. It can't be a 2, 3, it can't be a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it can't be a 9. So this cell can only be a 1. Okay, so now this cell can only be a 1. Alright, and so now what can this cell be? Um, we're missing a 2, and the 2 can't go here because of this. So this has to be the 2, and then we're missing the 9, right? Here we go. So now once we place the one here, these can no longer be ones. So let's get rid of that one and let's get rid of that one. So this has to be the one, right? And now this has to be the four and then this is the seven. There we go. And now if this is the four, then this is the one and then we're done. Look at that. All right. And that is the four. That was a nice puzzle with some good beginner and even intermediate level strategies. Please let me know in the comment section if you would like to see more solve with me type videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something.